in Stoke on Trent today. It's a painted kitchen. Uh, it's got some laminate issues to it, so it's starting to peel, but we can sort it out. Um, had a nightmare of a weekend uh, getting my paint again. Uh, massive pain in the arse, really. Um, I went with a new supplier um, past 18 months. I've had issue after issue after issue. I've been getting like the wrong finish delivered. Uh, I've been getting the wrong colours delivered. I've been overcharged uh, for like a year. Um, I did, did get the money back in the end, but it took me to check. <clears throat> uh, and this weekend was kind of like the final straw. Um, so I make my paint order every Monday or Tuesday for the following week. Um, I can't do it too soon because people change their minds on colours. Um, and once again, my paint wasn't ready on the Friday or Saturday to pick up for the job on Monday or Wednesday. Um, so I've had to spend all Saturday and Sunday trying to locate the paint for this job today, which I've been able to do. Uh, didn't need the stress of it. Uh, we spend a lot of money on paint um, and materials from this supplier and it's just an absolute joke always a problem constantly so we've decided to uh, find a paint which is just as good as Farrow and Ball uh, done a lot of research uh, and we came up with Valspar uh, V700 uh, which has like really high scrubbability to it uh, which is perfect for putting on kitchens so we're going to give that a go to well we're going to give it a go today um We've used it before a couple of times when we've needed to. We've never had any problems with it, so that was kind of like the correct choice. Um, and yeah, so that's that. So the supplier have been using for the past 18 months. Wouldn't be getting any more business from me. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. But the previous couple of years, I was using a Fire and Ball shop in Asprey uh, at Brook Farm. They're called Brook Farm Interiors. Uh, I never once had a problem uh, with them. I made my paint order every Monday and every Saturday I'd go and pick up my paint from there. And um, yeah, never an issue. Uh, located on a nice farm as well. Uh, owners are great. Get a nice ice cream, kids can play in the park, a couple of shops there. Uh, so it's like a little morning out already with the kids. Uh, thumbs up to them. Uh, do actually miss using them. Uh, because they were so reliable uh, but again uh, bigger manufacturers sometimes bigger suppliers are just a bit of a pain sometimes you don't get the one-to-one -one, um, customer focus off them so there's always there's always an issue of some sort I don't know whether it's down to the staff's fault or fire and ball's fault or I don't know but I've sent the emails off to fire and ball before and they sort of deny everything so uh, you have to put it down to the supplier, but then again, fire and ball are never wrong. So, uh, yeah, that's that. I'm going to go into the house now, uh, go meet Jeff and go make a start. So, bye for now. been taken off it's all the plastic molding it was all starting to come off anyway so we thought we'd just take it all off undercoated it mid-tones primer and undercoat now we just need to sand all these edges it's really rough with the sandpaper Sponge, 240 grit, make it nice and smooth. Okay, take three. Video of the kitchen without Uncle Jeff.
This is the finish on a biff. Hey, so just got back home. It's now quarter to four. So nice, easy day. Uh, yeah, really easy day today. Uh, no traffic on the A500, no traffic on the M6, which is a massive bonus because normally I'd like an hour on uh, just to drive home. Uh, I live on the Wirral, so a bit of a trek. Uh, normally traffic on the M6 and the A500, always a crash. Uh, if any of you guys drive on the M6 A500, you'll know that there's an accident every single day and it's always at like going home time. Um, so yeah, that's a bonus. I hate when people look at me when I'm uh, videoing myself because I look really strange just talking to myself in the van. Uh, someone just walked past and just uh, looked at me a bit weird. So yeah, the Valspar V700 paint uh, worked really well today. Uh, went on really smooth, uh, as you can see in the video. Uh, I've done up close, um, done an up close video and pictures of that. Uh, open the doors, close them, so you can see the sheen level and see how flat it is. We actually painted the uh, MDF. We took all the laminate off because uh, it was starting to peel, uh, just because like a kettle had been under there and some of the cupboards had peeled by where the oven was with heat. The glue just the glue just kind of disappears and the laminate starts to come off. So we thought we'd just take the laminate off all the doors just to make them all look uh, the same um, yeah so that went really well took a lot of sanding uh, just in like the grooves so it's quite rough when you pulled the laminate off but uh, we've sanded in between each coat it's perfect five coats uh, we had one undercoat one primer three top coats uh, maybe four top coats actually um, pigment was really good um, and seemed quite tough before we left takes seven days to cure so um, we just ask our customers not to clean their kitchen for a week, really. Uh, and yeah, good stuff. Got all the handles back on. Paint was dry enough for that. So yeah, all good. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I'm trying my best to get a bit better at vlogging. I know I can talk quite fast. Um, and my video isn't great, but uh, I'm trying. That's the main thing. So yeah, we've got... I think we've got like another 14 jobs before we finish for Christmas. Um, and then start again in 2020. Just started taking bookings for 2020, which is very nice. Um, last year, I think we got to like the 56th of January and it felt like uh, we were never gonna do well last year. It felt like all business died, but then it just became super mad again from February. So it'd be nice to have a, a busy January this year.